Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExudeAutomation.com and this is part one of our Android app automation with Robotium series. And in this part, we're going to talk about the introduction to Android automation. So this is the first part of our Android app automation with Robotium series and we'll cover a lot more videos in this series. So before starting this series and before starting the mobile automation itself, we first need to understand the purpose of the mobile automation testing. The mobile automation testing is getting important as their application development for mobile are getting complex and in near future, maybe there won't be a separate applications for desktop or web and mobile app. As Microsoft currently call it as a universal app where the applications developed for one platform can support any number of platform, any types of platform. It can be a mobile platform, it can be a desktop platform or it can be even an Xbox platform. So maybe in future Android application can also perform the same kind of operations. Hence, testing is getting equally important for the Android applications as like web and desktop applications. So this video series, we are going to cover how to do automation testing for Android applications since Android applications are also getting equally complex as like desktop and mobile applications. So what are we going to cover in this particular series? So the first thing is the introduction to mobile automation testing as we are doing it right now and the different types of mobile applications and operating systems. What are the tools available for mobile automations and the introduction to Robotium and this is the tool which we are going to focus mainly in this series and that is why the series name itself is an Android app automation testing with Robotium. And then we're going to discuss about installing and referencing the Robotium in Eclipse and also we're going to develop our first calculator application for Robotium. And there was a question from one of the guy from Facebook page he was saying what is the real purpose of developing a calculator application well the answer is this before starting the automation testing for Robotium we need to have a little understanding of how the applications are actually built in Android if we have a clear understanding of how the applications are built and how the internal systems of the Android works then it is very easy for us to test the application under test and that is the real purpose for developing our first calculator applications for Android. I hope this answered the questions that you got. And then we are going to start talking about referencing Robotium with calculator application and writing a simple code with Robotium, identifying UI objects in Robotium and framework design in Robotium. So this is just an overview. We may cover even some more topics in upcoming videos of this video series. So by covering the above topics, I promise you will be a good Kickstarter automation tester for mobile application. And the intended audience for this video series are testers, preferably with knowledge in Java coding and also developers. So what is the prior knowledge that I require for automating the Android applications? So one who has uh, good knowledge in testing as well as Selenium automation testing especially uh, can learn the mobile automation testing very easily since most of them are trying to use the Selenium type concepts here. Right. So in even in Robotium, we use the same Selenium type concept like identifying the object using the ID, name or XPath, etc. We already have exclusive playlist for Selenium automation testing in both Java as well as C Sharp. So this playlist can come handy if you want to take a look of how Selenium automation is done if you don't have the knowledge on Selenium automation testing itself. So I hope that will cover the Selenium knowledge and understanding at the same time you can jump in to this mobile automation testing for gaining further knowledge in how to perform automation testing for mobile using Robotium. And is this topic is specific? Of course the series is going to be too specific and since we need a API which can talk with the Android operating system and its applications hence we will use one of the many tools available in the market and as for this series we'll take the most popular robot so that's it guys so this is the introduction of our mobile automation testing and the series which we're going to cover and in next video we'll start talking about the different types of applications we got in android so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day